Hello, hello, how are you? I am back again and today I thought I would do a really quick video all about um, a perfume. A perfume, it's a really good one. It's by Floral Street, who we spoke about about two weeks ago. And I really, 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 really enjoyed their perfume, Electric Rhubarb, that's the name of it, which I got in my latest in beauty box. I now have a new perfume by them and I think I like it even more. It's called London Poppy. It's of course inspired by London. It's inspired by Covent Garden. It's inspired by kind of cobbled streets, flowers, cocktails, rain, and just, it just feels good. Do you know what I mean? Like it just feels really good and happy and warm and uplifting and florally with a little touch of like something something. So <laughs> I'm gonna get the perfume. It's here. I'm already wearing it. It smells so beautiful. It's kind of got this like slightly dusty, slightly old time floral vibe about it. It's really, really, really lovely. But at the top, it's got a lot of like citruses and a lot of orange and lemon and something a little bit smoky. I think there's some bergamot in there. It's really, really, really pretty. Anyway, I'm gonna spritz some more. Oh, it just opens up with such a, such a sparkle. It really is kind of like cocktails, but not sweet. Anyway, I'm going to get my cheat sheet up. So this is, of course, Floral Street London Poppy, and it's an eau de parfum. It's also vegan, and it is a 50ml bottle, which costs £60. It's a fresh citrus floral perfume, which is the ultimate urban mood lifter completely agree it really does it really does lift your spirits but also feels quite londony it's filled with notes of neroli orange blossom orange lemon apricot blossom jasmine sunflower marine accord cedar woods wood and black amber and they've kind of nailed it do you know what i mean like it opens up with just this like hit of like lovely citrusiness this kind of just bright oranges, fresh lemons, and just that real plucked from nature fruit vibe. And then it does kind of have this like really warm florally heart. I don't really know what a poppy is meant to smell like. I think it's kind of a scent free accord, but then it's more kind of just this like floral feeling, if that makes sense. And yeah, it's just like a rich, warm, really pretty and open floral bloom. And then it's got this touch of sweetness, a touch of powderiness, a touch of like aquaticness. It's kind of like almost dewy. It's not necessarily rainy. It's more, it's more fresh and dewy. And it's just, I don't know. It's just really warm and almost dry and uplifting and happy and joyful and florally. And it's just really, really, really lovely. There aren't many poppy fragrances on the market. Of course, there is Jo Malone's Poppy and Barley, which I love. I think it's beautiful. That's also kind of, it's kind of got some, <laughs> it's kind of got some similarities to the Jo Malone Poppy and Barley, but I would say the Jo Malone one is more earthy and brown with, with also a lot more rose in, whereas this one is more kind of lemony and a little bit sweeter and a little bit more... I'd say a little bit more youthful and flirty as well. But it's really pretty, it's really lovely quality, it's really fun and exciting, and it's really unique and original and uplifting. And it's great for spring, it's really good for summer. I think you could also wear it into autumn because it has got just a slight marine accord, which makes it a little bit more autumn-y, and it's also got a dryness, which I think could take it into autumn really nicely. I think it's wonderful, I think it's even more exciting than um, electric rhubarb, which I loved because it was really like tangy and playful and also very unique. But this one, I think it's just more my style. It's really fun, it's really playful, but it's also really elegant and chic. And I just think it's a really lovely, lovely, lovely new brand. I really wanna know more about the brand. I know that they've done very well in a very short amount of time. I also think they're a really nice transitional brand. like. They're quite ageless, but also, also I think they kind of bridge the gap between more kind of mature brands like Jo Malone or Atelier Cologne. 
but then they're also quite playful in the way that something like Marc Jacobs would be, but it's kind of somewhere in the middle. It's kind of got this playfulness, but it's kind of got this maturity and it's quite ageless, but it's also quite fun. It's just a really, really, really nice brand. I know that you can buy them from Floral Street themselves. You can also buy them on Feel Unique, but I think they're also in John Lewis. I will check the stockists <laughs> and I will list them below for you. But I just wanted to share this perfume with you because it's really lovely, it's really fun, it's really uplifting. And I just really like it. It's really like floral and dry and earthy and pebbly and unique. It's really special. Anyway, that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've tried Floral Street and you have any of their fragrances to recommend to me, please do. I would love to hear your thoughts. And if you like something a little bit more fruity, I would say try the electric rhubarb or rhubarb electric. But if you want something a little bit more, I'd say mature and floral, I would say try the London Poppy because this is really, really, really special. Anyway, that's my video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully I will see you again soon. If you have any questions, let me know. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.